initial lead points, we ended up with 43 points, which uh, allowed us to get certified, just the minimum certification. Um, but our goal was to get a silver classification certification, which uh, made us just need seven more points. All right, these are some sustainable ideas that we had to improve our points. Uh, for the site, the majority of the criteria was mostly met. The only criteria that wasn't met was one of the basic services wasn't there. So the only really area of improvement that we could have on this site would be to add another basic service, but that's not in our control because we're not in charge of the neighboring areas and communities around us. Uh, for water efficiency, at first it wasn't 20% uh, reduced water, but after these few changes we're going to make, it will be that way and it will come to actually about 30% reduced of water. So the things that we're going to do to help with water efficiency is to add better bathroom faucets, uh, sink faucets, toilets, and shower heads. Uh, when it comes to the new faucets, the bathroom faucets and the sink faucets will save roughly 0.5 gallons per minute. The toilets will save roughly 0.5 gallons per flush and the shower heads will save 0.25 gallons per minute and all this combined will save the entire building 30% of water per year. Uh, initially up front we're going to have more costs but in the end it will pay back for all the water we save over the years. When it comes to energy and atmosphere to meet the requirements we would have to install an HVAC unit that doesn't emit CFC However, when we were doing research on this product, we found out the initial cost is very uh, heavy. It's a very big upfront initial cost. And the payback period is roughly 10 years. So as an investor or as a person buying or supporting financially this project, we decided it was better for us not to make this initial uh, buy and just to go with the original HVAC unit that we were gonna use. So on this, we would uh, have no improvement on the energy and atmosphere. Uh, with indoor environmental quality, uh, most of the specifications were not detailed. Uh, for example, the carbon dioxide monitor, which is supposed to be installed outside, um, there's a certain limit like above uh, ground floor at about six to eight feet, which wasn't specified. So we put that you could spec specify that on the under under the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, drawings and stuff. Uh, for the ventil ventilation system, we installed a surface mountain fan which would decrease well, uh, decrease the uh, energy used to uh, ventilate the whole house and also uh, increase the outside airflow into the house providing fresh air. Uh, most of the flooring uh, materials were under the VOC limits and also the lighting systems and thermal systems were also met for the criteria. For innovation and design process, most of these credits require us to sign up online uh, and teach a certain amount of hours for all the uh, people involved in the project, requiring you to meet up before the construction area and uh, start planning ahead like green materials and green processes for construction. Um, one of the requirements was to have a certified or accredited lead professional. So that could easily be achieved by just hiring a lead accredited official. And for regional priority credits, only two credits could be earned in this section because the rest involved changing like ventilation and heating systems which are requiring a bigger area in the house, which we have no control of increasing the surface area of the house. For example, like ventilation room and where the heating system would be located. So we figured this wouldn't be an economical thing because it would be a lot more expensive to change the width of the rooms and stuff like that. Um, for the natural energy and reduced usage of it, you could also install solar panels uh, to decrease the energy uses but about 25 percent and also just the solar panels could also help uh, gather solar energy would which would reduce the overall energy usage by 10 percent all right and these are our final uh, point total 
We ended up with 57 points, which gave us a silver class of, uh, accreditation. So that was a total of 14 points added from the beginning. Um, like I said, with the initial cost of some things and the payback periods, we decided against them, which we could have gotten more points. But looking at it from an investor standpoint, we decided that we were going to go uh, with just the 14 points we added and give us a silver classification.